Hey, sup, goddess. Um, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry what happened last time, you know, with the sun and the stuff. I really didn't mean to make your face crumble. Please don't hurt me. Hey guys and girls, I'm our bears and Oak, and welcome back to another episode of the Ocarina of Time, the last episode. We finished off the Spirit Temple, getting all the way to the boss door. And in this episode, we are going to go straight into that boss door. Um, last episode, we also finished off, of course, all the sculptures, etc, etc that we need to get in the temple, so we now have no <laughs> treasure chests in the temple whatsoever. Fully completed. So, with that all done, let's go into the bus. Oh ho, looks like somebody's here, Kume. <laughs> Looks like it, Kotake. What's an outrageous fellow he is to treat some body into a temple? Ho ho ho! Same to you, buddy. You teach this outrageous fellow a lesson! <laughs> Intruder on our behalf. Well, where'd my eggs go? Oh, there it is. And repeat mini boss. This, yeah, we don't actually get to fight the actual boss straight on. We actually have to go through this guy once again. Or this girl. This is, once again, the Iron Knuckle. And because I have no bomb juice, and because bomb juice are somewhat useful with this uh, boss, I am, or well, mini boss, I am going to. The bombs didn't work. Um, try it again. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Last result. I'm going to cast Nara's Love. Now, with Nara's Love, I get no. Um, I get. I take no damage, but I do take. Um, not. So be careful about that. As you can see, I took quite a bit of knockback, and this guy does do, or this girl does do a lot of knockback. And you, in this battle, you can actually get to see why I call this person a girl and not an actual, you know, like male. Um, and you'll get to see what, why I say that, well, just about now, Where am I? Well, well, looks like she's back to normal, Kume. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudos, Katake. Maybe we should make her work for the great Ganondorf for a little while longer. Ho ho ho! We should brainwash her again. Hehehe. 
that is actually why I actually call um, Iron Knuckles uh, female instead of male. Because if you actually, um, well, first off, for that one uh, fight, um, Naburo is actually the Iron Knuckle. And if you actually kind of trick your camera into the face of a regular Iron Knuckle, you'll see that they actually still use that design of Naburo inside of the Iron Knuckle. So yeah, anyway, with the Iron Knuckle taken out, we can now head on down into this dungeon and actually go and face the true bosses. The true bosses being Kume and Katake. So let's go into this, which is obviously our battle arena, and meet our foes. Look at that stupid kid! He came on his own to have himself as a great sacrifice to the great Ganondorf! <laughs> With my flame, I'll burn him to the bone! Frost, I'll freeze his soul! <laughs> Let's do this! Proper boss time, Social Sisters Twin Rover! Obviously, because it is Zelda, you will be using the one item that you got in the temple. Um, what you want to do is use your, have your Master Sword out with your Mirror Shield. You'll need your Mirror Shield and your Master Sword. If you have your Big Run Sword or Giant's Knife out, then obviously you won't be able to use your sword. Now, what you want to do is target one of the sisters. And then you can see which one actually is using the, um, attack that you're going to be reflecting. When that sister uses the attack, what you want to do is pretty much just reflect that attack at the other sister. Um, actually it's even better if you just have them both on screen so then you can actually see who's using what. So, um, the first one is going to be using cash, uh, 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 spell and all you need to do is have your uh, shield out, crouch, and then pretty much direct it to the other sister. That is what this um, fight is going to be about. This time we've got the fire sister going for it. So we have to reflect the fire onto the frost sister, uh, whatever it is. And pretty much so on and so forth. This, of course, is their first, um, like, stage. The second stage is going to be a little bit more interesting, but we'll get onto that when we actually get onto it. So there we go. Another hit. Um, by the way, these guys have an in interesting name in German, uh, in the German release of this game. They're actually called the Killer Omas. Uh, Killer Omas pretty much being Killer Grannies. <laughs> so yeah. That's, that's pretty interesting, I have to say. Um, I didn't really know that. And kind of, Germans are somewhat notorious for really weird names or whatever. Just kidding. Anyway. Attacking Kahume's double dynamite attack! And... Yeah... Uh, um, yeah... That, that's... That, that, that's... That's great. Anyway, this is stage two. They combine together and... They produce uh, this person, who actually also has a name. Um, they are called. They well in German. They are called sexy Fermo Hexy, which is sexy Fermo Witchy, pretty much in uh, English in the English version. So yeah, more German with German names, pretty much. Anyway, this is stage two. What you want to do is um, obviously. Uh, blah, blah, uh, lock onto them, pretty much. 
lock on to Tomb Rover and have your shield out. What she's going to do is that she's going to start hitting you with attacks like she did before. But you actually start mixing it up because you don't know which attacks you actually start using. What you want to do is um, pretty much absorb in your shield three uh, of the same attack. So if you go for heat, then you have to have three lots of heat put into your sword. I mean your shield. Um, after three lots have gone in, uh, you'll release a really really nice attack. It will stun Twin Rover, and you can start wailing damage into her. Now. After maybe one or two uh, like rounds of this, she'll start to mix up. So instead of actually hitting you with three rounds of frost in one time, she might go for maybe two rounds of frost and then one round of fire. If you if you absorb one round of fire whilst you have say a round of ice in your shield, then you will have to start over again, pretty much. Anyway, with that, Twin Rover is defeated. With that, with that, <laughs> we defeat Twin Rover, which, answer God, is probably one of my favorite bosses in this game because it's so friggin' memorable. Just by how back crap crazy they are, pretty much, and how how like unique their bot uh, their fight is, and that you actually get to use your shield and stuff. That that's pretty cool for me, at least. Anyway, we got our heart container. And the step into the light. What the little kid has become in the past seven years, a competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Gandalf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit? And now I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. Hehe. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No. Link. The hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I'll give you this medallion. Take it. We got the final medallion. Don't be so totally not gonna sell any bait. <coughs> cough, cough, wink, wink. <laughs> anyway, we got the spirit medallion. Naboru awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. If 
only I knew you would become such a handsome man. <laughs> uh, we're kind of taken, even though we don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> we're so taken. No, no, no. Mm, mm, no, no. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I should have kept the promise I made back then. I, I don't actually remember what promise she gave us. Um, wasn't it like, you know, we get the gauntlets for her or something like that? Anyway. After you get the final medallion, this will play. Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. This time for the final showdown with the King of Evil. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The only, the one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Throw our hands up in the air sometime, singing, "Hey yo, I'm the Sage of Light." Oh, that, that's what that's what it reminds me of. Anyway. With that, we've completed the Spirit Temple, and we have another new objective. We need to go back to um, the Temple of Time, because apparently there's something waiting for us. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who it's going to be. But anyway, I think I've actually done quite a bit in this episode, and I think I'm going to end it off here. Thank you so much for watching. From me, Arbez and Oki, like, subscribe, comment, and screw you, Gwei. I'll see you guys next time, hopefully for more Ocarina of Time. There we go, Link. There you go. In a land where the music is really, really friggin' good. Okay, where the hell is this friggin' scorch What that? What the actual hell? This is friggin' horseback archery.